During oxidation reduction, redox reactions, the oxidation states of two substances change. Oxidation is the loss of electrons, and reduction is the gain of electrons. Both of these processes occur in a redox reaction. That's because if something loses electrons, something else will gain them. Here are a couple of mnemonics that will help you remember what oxidation is and what reduction is. Oil rig, which stands for oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain of electrons. Here's another one. That's Leo the lion, and Leo says grrr. Losing electrons is oxidation, gaining electrons is reduction. If these mnemonics help, please use them, but it is absolutely essential that you realize that oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. We're going to be talking about those a lot in these lessons. Let's go over the rules for assigning oxidation numbers. 1. Atoms in their elemental form have an oxidation number of 0. That is, each of the atoms shown here on the right is considered to have an oxidation number of 0. Each fluorine atom in F2 has an oxidation number of 0. 2. For a monatomic ion, the oxidation number is the charge on the ion. You can see on the right here, for the calcium ion, the oxidation number is 2 plus, for the lead 4 ion, 4 plus, and for the nitride ion, 3 minus. 3. Nonmetals can have variable oxidation numbers. Oxygen is usually 2 minus, but in the peroxide ion, it's 1 minus. We don't run into the peroxide ion very often in my class. So as a general rule of thumb, you can pretty much bank on the oxidation number of every oxygen being 2 minus. Hydrogen is 1 plus when it's bonded to nonmetals, 1 minus when it's bonded to metals. And you will recall that hydrogen will only bond with a limited number of metals. And those metals are what I call the strong base cations. That's what SBC stands for. And on the periodic table, those are the ones on the left side, beginning with, in the alkali metals group, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and then going to the alkaline earths, calcium, strontium, barium. Hydrogen will not bond with any other metal besides these. And when it is bonded to these, it's the hydride ion, and its oxidation number is 1 minus. When hydrogen is bonded to nonmetals, like fluorine, or chlorine, or oxygen, or nitrogen, it's 1 plus. Fluorine is 1 minus. You can take that to the bank every time the oxidation number of fluorine is considered to be 1 minus. The other halogens are usually 1 minus, but they're positive when they're combined with oxygen. For example, in this ion here, this is the bromite ion, what's the oxidation number on the bromine? Well, here's how we figure this out. Each oxygen has a 2 minus oxidation number, and there are two oxygens, so that's a total of 2 minus times 2, that's 4 minus. The sum of all the oxidation numbers must be the charge on the whole thing, which in this case is 1 minus. So what you ask yourself is, what minus 4 equals minus 1? Therefore, the oxidation number on the bromine must be, in this case, 3 plus. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a neutral compound is 0. For water, oxygen is 2 minus. The oxidation number of each hydrogen is 1 plus. In this compound here, iron 3 oxide, each oxygen is 2 minus. Therefore, on each of these Fe's, it must be 3 plus. Let's determine the oxidation number of nitrogen in each of the following. For this first compound, dinitrogen tetroxide, we've got four oxygens, each of which has an oxidation number of 2 minus. Therefore, each of the nitrogens must have an oxidation number of 4 plus. This is ammonia. 
Each hydrogen is 1 plus, therefore the nitrogen must be 3 minus. Here, this is nitrogen in its elemental form, therefore the oxidation number on each nitrogen must be 0. And here, we have three oxygens. Each one is worth 2 minus, so the oxygens give us a net of 6 minus. The oxidation number on the potassium, based on where it is on the periodic table, is 1 plus. So, 1 plus plus what? Minus 6 adds up to 0. That would be 5 plus for nitrogen. Let's summarize. Electrochemistry involves oxidation, that is, loss of electrons, and reduction, gain of electrons. Two mnemonics are oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain, and Leo Ger, losing electrons, oxidation, gaining electrons, reduction. In electrochemical processes, the oxidation numbers of species change during the reaction. So finding oxidation numbers before and after is a good way to determine what has been oxidized and what reduced. Remember that oxidation numbers are simply a method of bookkeeping. That is, we shouldn't generally equate oxidation numbers with the actual charge of something when it is in a chemical compound.